I'm Trendy Spence. We've been farming on Cricket Scroll for just over 100 years. Two years ago, we were in the grips of the worst drought we've had in 100 years and things were getting tight. And um, I looked at options. I'd heard about Boskos 15 years earlier, but didn't know what it was. Did a bit of research. A friend of mine was, was making a similar type of thing. And then eventually got onto chipping. Not knowing much about it, but being desperate because there was no lucent available. My own lucent uh, had nothing because we didn't have water. And it's been a learning process in the past two years. Last year, because of the lack of water and the severe drought, there wasn't lucent available in the districts. So I couldn't buy any. So I, I bought the, the Tomcat chipper and, and started the process from scratch, not knowing again what to do, mixing my own food, not much on the internet about recipes. And we started making Boss.Kos with my own recipes and, and, and trial and error. We supplemented with additional ingredients like uh, molasses, more protein to up the protein content of the food. I've had the food analyzed by a feed company to assist me in adapting my recipes, because as I've said, they're not readily available. This year, I have added a bit of lucent because I've, I've had my own lucent. I've added about a 30% to the, the recipe. Again, just to up the, the protein contents, which makes it a cheaper again because I can reduce the supplements to have a balanced diet for my goats. Last year, because of the drought, 100% of my fiber was from thorn trees, acacia, chips, and my animals did very well. Obviously, adapted the feed and the recipe for that. This year, because I've got a bit of my own lucent again, 30% of the roughage is lucent and 60% is still chips from, from the thorn trees. And again, it's worked very well. Uh, my goats have done very well on it. They like the food. They actually gain condition in the feed pens with it. So it's been a very pleasant and surprisingly good experience. The reason it was a decision I made, looked at the cost factors. Um, the reason I decided to still chip this year, even though we've got food in the felt and I've got lucent and oats and everything available for my goats, is that I can sell my lucent for 4,000 rand a ton this year. With, with the drought being broken, I obviously had to make the decision whether to go ahead with chipping or, or not. Because as I said, the previous year it was an essential. I had no food, lucent wasn't available. And um, this year I had my own lucent and, and oats available. And when I made the, the sums, it was a pretty easy decision to make. To produce chips was about a quarter of the price of Lucen, which just makes it economically viable for me to use my own thorn trees for chips and to sell my Lucen as a cash product. And that's why I've continued chipping this year. Um, so financially it makes sense, ecologically it makes sense because we're not destroying the thorn trees, we're utilizing nutrients and food that's not available because it's too high for the animals. So we're cutting it down, chipping it. When the trees regrow, it's more accessible to the goats to, to utilize because it's lower. And in a few years time, depending on the rain and the seasons, we can go back and chip. So it's, it's, a, it's a very eco-friendly, sustainable way of producing food. Another advantage of, of the chipping, what I've been doing now for two years, I've chipped close to, to 100 tons is that we've only cleared around our lands, just the fences and around them, so when we cut and bow, there are not trees in the way. And I'm at this stage busy clearing my, my canals that bring water to my irrigation dams, which is something that normally gets done. This time we're doing it and utilizing the, the trees for, for fodder, which is quite a economical way of doing things, doing two jobs in, in, in one go clearing the, 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 the canals and making feed, so that's another benefit. I'm, I'm supposedly a very difficult person, so I expect good service. I always say to people, I'm not brand loyal, I'm service loyal, and, and I am like that. I go where the service is good, and the service, the backup service from Tomcat has been phenomenal and, and absolutely fantastic and I can recommend them. <laughs> and I'm not getting commission on this. <laughs> I can recommend Tomcat to, to guys. It works well. The product is, is durable and designed and improved constantly. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy with the product. Having used the chipper, it is obviously a foreign concept and, and something quite new. 
uh, but I believe to go forward one needs to try new things and after having used the chipper for two years and making my own food I find it difficult to believe that not every Karoo farm has got a chipper on it making their own food because it's it's, a, it's an asset that every farmer has got. We've all got our thorn trees that can be utilized for food production at a fraction of the cost of, of buying food in.